What's up guys, Zack Scott here playing Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon and today we have a train to catch. This is level E3. Luigi, there was something funky going on with the security image, but I think I fixed it. Yep, this thing is hot off the press. No other security image has been taken so recently. Let's take a gander. Well, here we go, we're gonna gander about. Oh, sure enough, it's a Mario painting. Oh dear, this is bad. Well, hmm, it's the same old bag those boos have been carrying around this whole... Wait a minute. Yowzer, that's your brother Mario. How did he get captured? This is downright awful. This is indeed pretty downright awful, if you ask me. <laughs> so I guess it's a little bit matter of a personal opinion, though. But this is downright awful. I'm not even joking around. Oh, I guess I gotta look around. Zoom. That's no regular boo. Could that be... Oh, it is! It's King Boo! What in tarnation! Oh, man, he's scrambling. King Boo, the master of illusions! He's been the one pulling the strings the whole time, and he somehow managed to capture your brother. Unbelievable! That is a little bit of That fiend! If he thinks we're just going to sit by and... Eureka! The periscope has found a huge signal in the, in the train exhibit! Okay, so I guess we gotta go there. You've seen it uh, in the security images. When Wherever King Boo goes, he takes Mario's painting with him. You've got to get to that train exhibit and rescue your brother. Perhaps Mario can help us defeat King Boo and restore the Dark Moon. I'd rather take all the glory myself. What in the world? Here, take this makeshift rotor. It'll let you turn that huge staircase that rose from the ground. Perfect, thank you. Look lively, Luigi, your brother needs you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and thank you guys for every like and favorite. Definitely been helping out the series. Now, I've actually played this level a little bit before. Uh, I had uh, some some issues, and hopefully I don't repeat those same issues. Uh, I didn't beat it, though. So, I know a little bit about this level. I know I think I know a lot, actually. And we're going to go through this. And just know that I've, I've kind of gone through this before. So, um, hopefully... Uh, we won't have much of a problem, though. This time. Let's see. Let's go. It's a safe up here. Pop. It was the weasel. So someone... has something that I want. Now, this room is really confusing to me. Oh, wait. Is it... No, this is exactly where I wanted to go. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Never mind. The problem of playing this before is that I, I think I'm expecting stuff, and then I'm confused about other moments in the game. I don't really like it. Now I will say um, that this stage is fairly challenging and fairly long, especially if you want to get all the bonuses, which I do. And they always hide these things. Look at this. How? Poorly hidden is that? The answer is very poorly hidden. Gives you lots of treasure though for finding it. Da -da -da. I don't know. I know in here there was like something. Here we go. Get it! Yay, they're gonna keep giving me treasure out of that. I know it. It's perfect. Alright, after after our initial treasure pickup, we're gonna go over here. This is where it wants us to go. And uh, this is kinda weird commenting like this because now I can kinda tell you things that I uh, am now on the lookout for. Things that you might want to be on the lookout for. These things always give out coins, obviously. Uh, if they're they may or may not be worth your time, I don't know. So Stick that up there. There we go. Yeah. Now this thing rotates. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh boy. What's up, Egad? Hot dog. This one nifty stairway. Now head to the train exhibit. All right, we're just gonna spin this a little bit, and we'll see that you got to align this with where you want to go on the map. It's telling me the train exhibit is to the right, so I want my drop-off point to be to the right. Right there. Good. And do, do, do. Oh, I 
thought I pushed the button. There we go. Dang, what? Okay, oh god. You don't laugh at me. Maybe you do if you're a jerk. Pick up these ghosts, get some gold bars. Uh, boom! There we go. I was having a hard time remembering what button to press. There we go. That was, uh, basically, I took a little bit of damage in exchange for taking some, uh, you know, so, uh, what am I saying? I don't know. In exchange for taking, <laughs> okay, who cares? A little bit of damage, not a big deal. I got some. Those are gonna be handy later. If you look in the mirror, there's a. Book. Whoa, there's also something here, isn't there? No. Here we go. There's a book. Jacking that stuff up. Take your book. Put it in the bookshelf. <laughs> oh yeah. Got it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. You jerk. Here we go. Let's put this back. Hello? Hello? Oh, hello? Oh, 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 oh. oh this, this guy is such a jerk. He just takes the book. Oh. And Luigi sighs. It's definitely frustrating, obviously. What's up, Professor Egad? Oh. Hello? Hello. Blasted ghost. The passage in the bookshelf won't open without the book he took. The periscope doesn't work well in that mansion, but I'll try to find him. Give it a second. Come on, you piece of brilliantly designed junk. Bingo. He seems to be somewhere on this floor on the west side. I know, not very precise, but better than nothing. Start searching while I keep trying. So we will do that. But first, I'm going to take a little trip south. Little trip south. Now this is definitely interesting in my opinion. Gotta close that off. Like so. Then vacuum this stuff up. Ah, oh, what? I was not mean to get punched. I need a couple of guys right now. Yeah, you keep taunting me like that. Busted. Ta-da! Now, uh, this is kind of interesting here. Uh, if you take a look... That doesn't do anything, but if you step on this little platform... That goes down and gives you a passageway. Well, so we gotta have something to hold that hold that steady. And if you remember, in a previous level over here, in this particular room, uh, was exactly what we need. Let's go and open this up and take whatever it offers, which doesn't seem to be anything. We're gonna go over here. Fill it up with jungle water, and then that'll be enough weight to hold that down so we can go check out the the pirate ship thing. So, pretty simple if you ask me. Uh, not, not a big deal. Let's go over here. Me. Dang it! Crap. Yeah, not very fun to deal with. Been taking some minor damage here and there. Hopefully that doesn't affect me in the long run. Now let's go put this where the pirate ship thing goes. I played this for a long time and then I ended up not completing. I, t I raged. I turned it off. And now I'm back here recording. And I forgot that, you know, when you turn it off, nothing good's going to come of that. You're just going to lose your game. <laughs> so, uh, I raged because I wasn't able to collect some coins. And so I hope that this time I can collect them. But we'll see. Over here, I believe we're going to find uh, birds, but also... Uh, well, I didn't see the gold guys up there. Also, this awesome gem. 
And uh, I also freaked out because I thought I was missing one, but we'll see that that gym is further down the line here. And then this uh, is interesting. We can actually spin that around. Look at that. I do it. Put it on the other side. That's going to help us later on in the future. It may not be super apparent right now, but now we're going to go back over here. And we are going to uh, basically spin this around to the west side. And then uh, get on again after we get to that point. There we go. Ta-da. Gonna have to maybe ignore that. Uh, what? Dang it. All right, come with me. Oh, you see that one statue trying to appear? That was it. Yipes. Pop. All right, there we go. Get some more gold for that. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Come back. What? I totally wasn't able to get those guys. It's okay. Oh dear. All right, forget them. We're gonna go this way. We're basically gonna do all the rooms except for the uh, the one that I really, really need the most. And we're gonna pull this. Oh crap, three ghosts. Busted two at once. It's pretty handy. Is there something in here now? Oh, wow. Got a bone. There's a lot of treasure in this stage to be found. Just you wait. Boom. What? Gotcha. Can't escape me forever. Oh, what? Yeah. Something up with this? I don't know. When this, when this balloon takes off, we're gonna get some treasure under here. And there's the star. Got it. So, we do that. Um, over in the next room, down is a little weird. Um, there's like this puzzle that you do, and I forget the exact order, I'm gonna tr try it again. Basically, there are four boxes, and you got to check them in the exact right order here. And then when you do, paper will come out. And I think I know it's that one, then this one, then this one, and then finally, uh, this one. And the gold greenie comes out, which I still love that name. Busted. Got his gold. Got his greenies. Ho-ho! All that stuff. And then down here is where we really want to be. And this is really crazy. Uh, over here. Now this is going to be something really difficult to pull off. But you see there is a... Well, what's this? Boom. Okay, now this is going to be really, really difficult to pull off. There he is on the planet. I'm done. See, like I say, I'm, okay, I guess I zoom in a little bit. Yeah, he's definitely there. But then I, I back up and say I'm done. Somehow, here I am on this planet thing, this little cluster. And this is super annoying. But it's going to work. The first time I did this, I had a lot of problems. Dang it. Oh, 
Now bombs and stuff start popping out. Oh dear. I think we gotta wait like three three turns for this. No, he is definitely over here. Now oh, what? Got him. Oh crap. He's getting away again. He is really nowhere to just be found. Kinda gotta, he's the type of guy you gotta wait for him to come out. spin around and try to find him again over and over eventually you'll find him but it's super duper annoying got him now, I think this might be the last pool that I have to do on him before victory there we go yeah and I would love to just grab those things but it didn't let me and there's the golden book now can I look at this again can I go back I would have loved to grab those. Let's grab this. Go over here. Find, yep. Okay, great. That is my plan. I'm, I'm going to do that. <laughs> so now, uh, just a lot of stuff in general going on here, which is going to be kind of difficult. Uh, but I'll show you what I mean. We're going to want to go... I'm gonna go ahead and leave this book here for now. We're gonna to wanna to go back to it, obviously, but I'm gonna leave this here. Uh, there's some stuff that you guys should know about because this is gonna take up a considerable amount of your time after this. And I don't know if you can do this on another level or not, but basically, these balloons are like your key to everything from here. You're gonna go, and first you're gonna explore this in this own room. He's gonna flutter over on here, and you see that blue book? Well, I don't know if you remember that one room that needed a blue book, but this is where it was. And so we can now go get that, and then over here I think there's something as well. Don't remember. I'm sure there was. There we go. Oh yeah. A whole bunch of treasure. Crap, come on, let me go down and get it. Come on, the treasure's all gonna disappear. There we go. This is not gonna be here, is it? That's okay, we got our uh, blue book though. We're gonna need that when we go over here into this room. Basically, from this point out, each room is gonna have something special about it that you're gonna love. But this here, get a gem. <laughs> Easy as that, but then we gotta come back with the balloon. And uh, I'll show you what I mean. Let's go, uh, well, let's go in kind of an opposite order here, because there's going to be some difficult things. Oh. God dang it. 
Got my hearts back. All right, then we're gonna take this balloon. This is so complicated, but we're gonna go into the jungle here. And this is kind of a part that I stumbled on, so hopefully this doesn't happen to you. But, um... Oh, shoot, crap. I did not mean to do that. That was the exact wrong thing to do. Okay, let's go back. Sorry. Um... Come on. There we go. Gonna take this with me. And I'm actually playing on 3D now, because this... You, I don't normally play on 3D because I almost think it's more of a distraction than anything. Sometimes the graphics are really beautiful in 3D, this game especially, uh, but sometimes like I really don't find it necessary to play in 3D, so I don't. We're gonna go up here with this balloon, and we're gonna go all the way up here, and this is where I messed up on first, so if I mess up here again, man, I don't even know, I don't wanna know. Let's just suck this in. There's a gold balloon here. Here we go, now we're going up. There we go. Gonna go over here. Collect all these, hopefully. You can go collect all these as well. Now you can see how super annoying that would be if you missed that. Because I don't think you get another opportunity in the same level. I, I think I gotta do this level again, or maybe another level in the future. But open this up. Wow, okay, that's what I missed. Perfect. And see, I knew that I missed something because all the other rooms have that too, and I didn't mess up on any of the other rooms. They all have something special when you do that. So, uh, it's just frustrating. So I'm glad I was able to get it that time. And uh, let's see. So we got another gym. And then let's go ahead and let's just go back. There we go. A couple things we gotta do here. Now let's uh again and I don't know uh Yeah, okay, the ice one. The ice one had a very similar story. You'll see what I mean in a second. Nice one. It's kind of interesting seeing this in, in a 3D again. Or not again, but the uh, actually for the first time, it looks really phenomenal. I highly recommend it if you can tolerate it. <laughs> normally I just don't, I don't know, I, normally I just don't go for it, you know what I mean? Like normally this is not really my, my, my bag. So this one now, I gotta float over here. This one isn't that hard. I did, I did this one perfectly last time. And that's how I knew that when I messed up on that one, it was a big deal. Now check this out. Over here, a treasure chest with a gem in it. And that's about when, when I rage quit. I was like, you know what, forget it. I don't need this. Check it out though, get a gem. So, apologies for not, you know, playing it my first time through, but I think now I got a little more insight. Uh, I'm able to kind of describe what you need to do in th these levels, and then just kind of keep going, you know? Now, there's actually a, a chest over here. Yeah, I don't know if you remember last time. And I didn't have 3D on last time when I did this, and I had a really hard time telling where the coins were and where I needed to go. Oof. So 3D definitely helps with depth perception in, on 3DS games, believe it or not. But you knew that. Oh, is there anything over here? Is this good for anything? Doesn't matter. Okay. And then one more thing, which I actually managed to get last time. 
as well, uh, over here. Uh, right there. Maybe, I, I don't know, maybe from here on out I'll play some of these levels before actually playing them for recording. But I don't know. Let me know what you think. This is just a rare instance because I totally would just like rage, <laughs> raged. And uh, let's go in here. Now, I would have, I would have not known there was something up here, but there is. Uh, stuck that in. Just some coins and stuff right here. Dumping on my head, golden shower of coins. And then over here is another gold balloon thing. Now this one was pretty easy when I did this the first time. Although the music kind of freaked you out a little bit. But have no fear. Guess who? It's a boo! Ahem, I am Boorocrat. This mansion is now under the ownership of King Boo Esquire. I take it you have the proper credentials to be here, including ID and mansion roaming license. No? That's unfortunate. You'll have to be penalized. Oh. oh that was easy. So after this point, uh, oh wow. Please, yes. Kill yourself with that. Maybe you won't. But what if we stretch it all the way over here? Boom! Oh yeah, he's dead. There you go. Oh yeah. All right. So we got a lot of stuff here, obviously. Now, um, another thing that you can do is kind of a cool little bonus here. You can go into the jungle, and, and then past this point is the point at which would be completely new gameplay for me. Uh, you can go over here. Oh, I was gonna do this. Hey, buddy. Give me some dollars. You can grab this, and I forget where you light this up, but you can light this up somewhere. Maybe it's in Egypt. Yes. There we go. And then you can take this, and you can go uh, over here into the space area. And you can set this rocket, you can basically launch this rocket. There we go. He's gonna take a gold greenie with him. Ta-da! So, let me plug in my 3DS. The battery, like the red lights flashing like crazy. I would be so angry if it crashed out on me at this point due to lack of power. There we go. Okay, <laughs> we got it plugged in. Okay. And then, uh, took me a long time to figure out what to do here. See that? What was that? Let's go back. The rocket crashed, and then this this guy's with him. He's like, so it's like a free treasure sort of. Busted. That's for those of you who like treasure. <laughs> All right, and then now we can take this uh, this freaking thing, and we can go. Um, and I don't know what this is gonna do my time. I don't know if this is a good time. Because all that stuff is optional, and it gives you all this, these gems and stuff. And then now we can take this, and we can uh, basically uh, take it to the train exhibit and do that. And then, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where is, oh yeah, just put this in here, duh. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking for my map here. Here we go. Oh, I see you. You think you could trick me? What the heck? I don't like that at all. I'm going for you again. 
I really hate you. Dang it, really? That's, that's nothing. Hate. Hatred is the feeling that I feel for you. Come on, you're going in all sorts of crazy directions. It's really freaking me out. Where is he? He's just hanging out here? Nope, he's right here. You're not getting out of this one, blue guy. Man, okay, hey, okay, if I pull it too soon, it's just like a no-go. Here a train, there we go. Well, let's go on a train ride, awesome. All right, so at this point, I don't know what's coming up. Let's see where this takes me. Hopefully it takes me to see Mario. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh my god. Alright! Alright! I got all the gems! That's exciting! Oh my god, now what? Oh, I see. I see. This is gonna be... Wait. There we go. Oh, this is treasure. Well, where the heck do I go? Let's take a look. Let's take a look, see. Train exhibit. What? It's a little, it's a little tiny version. What? What the crap? Oh, Professor Egad's calling. Oh, yellow. Yellow. Hmm. Luigi, what did you see? Any signs of Mario? Hmm? Criminy, you must hmm. be wondering how to get inside there, huh? Don't worry. I've got an idea percolating. Mm -hmm. I'm bringing you back. Hold on tight. Okay, well, I, I did the state. I found a lot of treasure. Um, I also got all the gems, so that's exciting. Um, apologies if you're the type of person who likes to see me play it through for my first time. This is like my second time. I basically played it the entire thing before. 28 minutes is good. The other one would take like 40. Uh, oh, and a three star. It shows. It shows. <laughs> well, thanks, guys. Oh, all right, that's cool. I feel pretty good about that. That's well, This is a good like tutorial level then. If you are stuck in this level wanting to find out some more stuff, then this hopefully was a good video for you guys. And maybe I should play like the rest of these, you know, a little bit before I actually record. I don't know. Usually I kind of go in cold and uh, fumble around a lot. This time I knew what I was doing. When I played Paper Mario Sticker Star, uh, after like the first handful of levels, I played them first before. Uh, chin up, young feller. We'll get your brother back. Although I imagine his painting would fetch a pretty penny at an art auction. Oh, just kidding, my boy. Yeah, this guy is maniacal. Devious. New gem collected. New gem collected. Yeah, yeah, so many new gems collected. All these ghosts and stuff too, and new boo. Got everything. Got a lot of treasure too. Most importantly, I got a three star there. That's exciting. Now, did you happen to see that tiny camera inside the miniature model of the train exhibit? I might be able to route the pixelator to it and send you in. Of course, it's incredibly dangerous. I've never tried pixelating anything with such a small camera. But it's as they say, fortune favors the old, and I'm not as young as I used to be. Fortune fav favors the bold is the real saying. Three stars and it goes. That's a good, you know, that's a long level too. I did it. And oh, whoa, whoa, it's the boss? Wow, okay, well, so I'm really glad I got all the gems. I thought this was going to be another five stage, or I guess not. Uh, ambush maneuver. Looks like we got a boss fight coming up. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching. And come back next time for more Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching and check out these other awesome videos. See you next time.